Kick it. John Shearer is joining us here for coverage for the CES 2008 for the Tech Podcast Network. And John, you've got quite an array of uh, things out before us here. How, how is it, are you going to take us on a journey yeah, of explanation here? Journey is like last year was a little exciting. We won best of show for emerging technology, and that was based on the, uh, you know, the, the wireless power at a distance. Let's say so. Like for instance, this is the technology from last year. There's there's an energy source, a wireless source that's sending power to this. This is. This is not an end device, this is just to get the concept across. We ended up shipping a product uh, branded by Philips uh, last year, which was wireless Christmas tree lights that went to a, a tree that had a source. But see, as this lights up, it's getting, you know, it, it is powered at a distance, okay? Without, there's no battery in here or anything. If I get far enough away, it's, it's out, okay? You're far enough away from the source. And then what the, uh, what the consumer said, like, well, we want more power. I says, well, let's, to accomplish that, let's get, you know, close proximity without contacts. There's no conductors, and here's an example of that, where you know there's there's no power going to this at this distance. But if I want watts of power, I simply put it within a, a zone, like a power cast zone, and it's lighting up, and that's watts of power. And something that's unique from this technology as opposed to some of the others is I can put separation between my transmitter, the power caster, and the power harvester, which is the device inside that harvest the, uh, the energy and transmits it to the device. And so I can put separators in there and I'm still getting basically watts of power to close proximity. You have to be within the zone yet. This is not like, you know, we're not breaking any laws of physics. You have to do this safely in, in, in close proximity. So, so I see it looks like you've got five LEDs that, yeah. uh, that are, are lit in here. What's, what, how much current are we talking about here? We're talking uh, about one and a half to two watts of power mm -hmm. transfer continuously. We're here, we're talking you know, milliwatts of power continuously, right. but I am at a distance. Right, right? Right. And so that, the reality is, is if you know, at a distance we're milliwatts, at close proximity we're watts. And you ask, well, what, what kind of devices take watts? Well, things like an, an iPod, right? So this is a, uh, you know, a, a prototype, it's a, a retrofit. And so there's no connector. I've gotten rid of all connectors on this. And so if I just set it down on there. So it about, it, it uh, makes it a little bit thicker, a little more than double then. Well, this is something that, quite honestly, we just took another product and showed okay. what's possible. Ideally, our little tiny circuit would be, be built inside the device. Uh -huh. We sell to the manufacturers. I see. You know, we're I an see. enabling technology. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what you would want to build in, ideally, over time, this goes away completely. Oh, excellent, right? and excellent, then you just yeah. Set it, and so what'll happen? Oh, and it powered right showing, up. It's, yeah. it's getting power, <laughs> That's right? Amazing. Enough, yeah. and, it's, and it's actually charging. Same with these devices. This is, uh, you know, it should show that it's uh, it's getting power. Yeah. So it's charging just by sitting there. Mm -hmm. Now, what you can do is build, and this is where we want to work with the, uh, you know, furniture manufacturers, you know, car manufacturers, is to build this kind of charging area. Think of a power yeah, does it ha does it have to be specifically aligned with the with this plate? Well, it, not specifically a line, but it has to be close to it. It could be spun, and that we're working on ways to you know, make the zone larger so it's it's easier to use. But what I have done is I've gotten rid of the connector. Yes. Yes. Right. That's your failure point. You know, and so here's another higher end. Device. Oh, absolutely. So I, this is like a charging cradle. Uh, right. right. But I'm not going to plug anything in. It's charging. Right. That's charging that device, and I've never, the failure point is gone. There's no connector, right? You know, that's, that's what, that's really one of the big values we bring, is where, where does your charger really break? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, that's right, and of course, very often they're proprietary connectors yeah. and generic chargers, and you're not quite sure what that brick actually went to or how to replace it. Right. And so the consumers are saying, I want to get rid of that conductor, I want to get rid of that connector, and I want it to work for multiple devices. And what we're showing here is that we can do it for multiple devices, and the reason we're on the show floor is because I want the manufacturers of all these companies that are trying to solve their customers' problem 
to work with us so that they can embed our technology into theirs. So I could go one more thing over here, what's this? Well, this is to show you basically how that the power to distance works. And this, quite honestly, is more for a use for a, uh, um, uh, like fire and safety and stuff. If you want to light something up, uh, in a, if it's everything's dark, so this is this is kind of a cutesy thing, quite honest. Okay. Right? You know, there, I'm, I'm sending power to that device. See how it, the lights are shining? And as I get closer, it's more power, right? So that's that's really that's 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 why we won the show last year. Right, right. This right. is this is what we're talking about. We're solving real consumer problems by doing things like this, and and powering and charging devices without any conductor, without any connector. So I would hope that that we've got uh, in our audience product designers, people that are aware of these sorts of technologies to incorporate them into consumer products. How can uh, uh, one of our listeners or viewers keep track with the progress that's being made and what companies are implementing this? Well, first, the easiest thing would be to go to our website, powercastco.com, and you know, go, the, go to the info thing and fill out the information and someone will get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, and, and from as far as who we're working with, you know, after winning last year, we've been trying to respond to a lot of the companies coming towards us. And quite honestly, we're a small company and we're being very selective in trying to take the market leaders and we've been working with them behind the scenes. Okay. And we have uh, you know, non-disclosure agreements with some of the largest companies on the face of the planet. And, uh, and non-disclosure meaning I, I can't tell you what we're doing and when. Yeah. But I think being on the lookout for this and recognizing that this sort of technology is very soon going to be available in consumers' homes. It's, it's actually, technically it's not a problem anymore. It's purely a question of working with our customers and getting the products to market. You know, we can't cause time to you know, stop and let us get things done. It takes, it takes time for all products to get designed. Oh, surely, surely. Um, yeah, it, it's no longer a technical problem. You know, we've pro proven to the world that wireless power is for real. Yeah. So it's powercastco.com. Yes. Yes. John, thanks very much. Thank you. Have a good show. Thank you, appreciate it. Kick it.